All right, so let's see how we can measure gerrymandering. And that is known as to be the efficiency gap. And the efficiency gap is a measure of the advantage of one party has over another party to partisanship partisanship of the voters in each district. So the nice math formula for this is you do party A surplus votes minus party B surplus votes. And you go ahead and you divide that by the total votes. Now, it ha I have read that it should be between about 7 to 8 percent to be considered fair. An order doesn't matter, just realize that this should always be positive. So if you get a negative, just make it positive. Okay, so I'm going to go and we're going to do two examples. So in this example, the votes are shown for five districts in a hypothetical state. Determine the number of seats won and calculate the efficiency gap. So the first thing we need to figure out is how many votes um, is each district getting. So if we just look here... That totals to 100, that totals to 100, that totals to 100, totals to 100, totals to 100. So we want to figure out the majority to win. So that would be 100 divided by 2. Oh, me, yeah, because we're doing between Democrats and Republicans. It would give me 50. So 51 is the majority. Okay, so what that's telling me is in each district... I only need 51 votes to win that district. So when you look in that first district, we can clearly see that the Democrat won, right? Because they received the 75, where the Republican candidate only received the 25. However, we only needed 51 to win. So our wasted votes, another word for that would be, let me just throw that in there so it makes sense when you're doing your my open math, is your surplus votes, it means the same thing. So if I do 75 minus 51, my surplus votes for that district were 24, okay? Now, my Republican votes didn't even count because the candidate didn't win, so all of those were wasted or surplus. Now, if you look in District 2, the Democrat won again, right? Because it got the majority. But again, it only needed the 51, so nine were wasted. And the Republican, all of them were wasted since it didn't go towards the candidate. Now, when you look in the next district, the Republican won. But once again, we only needed 51, so six were wasted where all 43 were wasted for the Democrat. District four, the Republican won, and it looks like just one vote was wasted, where all 48 were wasted for the Democrat. And then our last district, well, we only got the 51, and that's all we needed, so no, none were wasted, but all 49 were wasted. So what we can see here is the Democrats win 
two seats, right? Because they won two districts. And the Republicans win three seats. Now let's see what the efficiency gap is. So in District 1, well, let's actually add up all our Democrat votes. And when I add that in my calculator, just to save us some time, we get 275. And when we add up the Republican votes, we get 225. When we add all of our surplus votes or wasted votes, however you want to look at it, for the Democrats, we get 173. And we add that last column, we end up getting 72. All right, so let's look at this. The efficiency gap says it doesn't matter order, okay? It's just nice to put large minus big, so then you always get positive. So my efficiency gap, I'm going to do 173 because it's your surplus votes for one party. Take away your surplus votes for another party. And we need to divide it by the entire number of voters. So that actually comes from right here. So total voters, or votes, I could say, <laughs> 275 plus 225 is 500. So when I do that in my calculator, and I have it handy right here, I'm going to do 173. I'm going to take away the 72, push enter, then divide it by 500 so I don't come up with a problem, I get 0 0.202. So what that is as a percentage is 20.2% is your efficiency gap. So this is the issue. That is really large. Now, we, I briefly said it in the last video, but the maximum efficiency gap should be around 7 to 8% um in order to be fair so that's clearly not fair because it's way over 70 percent the other way i can see that is that we have let me get to get a different color we have five districts right and um that means we have five uh seats so if you have five districts that's five districts Oops. so each district hopefully this makes sense to you is one-fifth which is about 20 is exactly 20 percent so the fact that this thing is larger than an entire seat that means that this is worth one entire seat so this map has clearly been gerrymandered oops let me get out of here hold on i can never do it <laughs> um okay hold on okay there we go gerrymandered You know, so if you had six districts, you would see what one-sixth is as a percentage and compare it to your efficiency gap to see if it would represent an entire seat. Okay, let's do 